Hey guys, this is just an update because I was away for around a week uh, on holidays, so that's why obviously videos haven't been posting because um, I had no internet connection where I was. So firstly, Scarlet Shed, which is really good. Um, I'll just put it on my desk here. Turn that light on. So yeah, there it is, all one piece, which is really good to see. Because last time, if you guys have been watching my videos for that long, last time she shed, um, yeah, it was all in different pieces and it wasn't a good shed. So, yeah, I fed her now. I think she's in that log there. Uh, and, yeah, she ate straight away because she hadn't eaten in a while. I think like two weeks because she hadn't been, because she was shedding. I tried to feed her, but, yeah, she wouldn't eat. So, yeah, that's Scarlet. Uh, the Central Nether Dragons. Uh, they've been going good, according to the person looking after them. While I was gone, it was just my friend. Uh, they've been eating well, apparently. I think that's Spot up there. And then Dot's probably just, like, digging somewhere. She likes to dig. Um, so, yeah, they're fine. They've been eating. I fed them when I got home as well. They only ate, like two cockroaches each which is good to see because uh, shows they've been fed well so they're all good okay just make our way to the bear dragon closures okay so uh, Ruby who's just over there she was starving when I got home uh, because He'd only been feeding them salad because I thought cockroaches for uh, <clears throat> for this many dragons might be too much for him. So yeah, she went crazy for cockroaches when I got home. She ate like 50, no, no joke, like you can see how fat she is. She's incredible. Um, and then Scooby's just here. He's just chilling in the log there. Looks like he's shedding his mouth. Just get a view of that. Through the bamboo. No, you can't really see him. But he's shedding his mouth, it looks like it. Um, and then the... What's that? I think that's like... Uh, what's it called? Spring onion. It's been growing well. In this enclosure. Something gone. Yep. Um, and then here, Daisy is really weird. Like, I thought she was pregnant, but I don't think she was. I don't know what is going on. Um, so, when I got home, I ch like just a few hours ago, I checked her, and she's just there. I checked her, and it she doesn't like have any lumps in her stomach or anything, or like in her belly. Um, so I definitely thought she'd laid eggs, but she still looks really fat. Like, I haven't fed her yet, just so I could show you. But if you look at her, she's, like, really fat. So, yeah, I thought she'd laid eggs and then she'd just eaten a ton of salad. Um, but I looked through all the sand, and there was no eggs through there, so that was really strange. And then I asked my friend, and he said um, that... Um, she hadn't, uh, he hadn't seen her digging, and that she's got like no sand on her either, like unless she's been like in the pool or something, but she's got like no sand on her either, which she'd normally come out covered in sand, uh, so I've looked like all through the enclosure and I can't find any eggs, which is really weird, so maybe she wasn't pregnant in the first place, but I definitely thought she was. So anyone who was expecting to get a dragon from Daisy and Little Red's clutch, maybe that won't be possible now. Uh, but I'm still going to try and breed them if they haven't already bred already. But um, I'll be able to tell within probably about three weeks or so because uh, that's about the time period they take between clutches. Like they'll lay one, e uh, one clutch of eggs and then uh, three weeks later they'll lay another. So yeah, sorry about that. Not sure what's going on there. Um, 
And then Little Red looks like he's shedding his tail. Like there, you can see the shed on the back of his tail there, which is good. Um, so, yeah, this basil also looks like it's thriving, but then the spring onions in that in this enclosure isn't aren't going too well. And then also the nasturtium that I had was like a ground cover that's died completely. Um, so yeah, that's a it's pretty much the update all summed up. Um, I'll just go back inside quickly because I just want to show you something. Alright, so these enclosures I was going to, um, like we're thinking about getting rid of and just disassembling them and getting, like, putting that cabinet like over here or something and getting like a set of new enclosures for like holdbacks and stuff. Um, and we were going to buy the enclosures, but uh, the guy who we were going to get them off, um, he like sold them to someone else because we were on holidays. He said he'd hold them for us because he needed to get rid of his snakes from them or whatever. But we are only going to buy two of the three, so someone else offered to buy three. So he yeah, obviously went with them, which was disappointing. But yeah. Uh, so, uh, the reason for disassembling these enclosures down here is because they're not that attractive and they're not very practical either because we want to get like four enclosures here. So like, um, so like this, like if we build them, we'll just get like two, like this maybe, or like three, stack of three. So we can have six enclosures out there, which would be really good. Um... So yeah, just thought I'd tell you tell you that because it's probably going to happen within the next few months because of all the bearded dragons hatching. And uh, just while I'm on that subject, the eggs, I've checked them and they're all good. I've candled them and yeah, they're all uh, all fertile, which is awesome. I'm talking about like the, the second clutch that Ruby just laid. Um, so like all the good eggs are fertile, I just threw away the, all the bad ones before I left because they were disgusting, moulding. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the little update. Uh, there'll be a lot more videos coming soon and hopefully Daisy remains pregnant. So, or if she wasn't in the first place, Little Red breeds with her and she is pregnant. Because I, I know a lot of you guys would like some beardies from Little Red and Daisy. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.